guys. Welcome to a video on the most dangerous children's toys of all time. Toy videos, YouTube toy videos. That's like, that's like, uh, 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 peas and dictators. They go together like the teeth of people from Britain and West Virginia. <laughs> They're very common, but very rarely do people focus on the uh, the negative aspects of children's toys, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing today, guys. <laughs> so, anyways, let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Calm down a little bit, all right? All right, guys, I'm frustrated right now, so I'm going to be a little crazier than normal. Number one, the U-238 Atomic Energy Lab. This year at Gilbert, we present the Here finest toy Gilbert. line in our history. <laughs> this is our story. Yeah, this was a little after my time, guys. Here at Gilbert, we expose children to dangerous amounts of radiation. Uranium-238, thorium, and various other radioactive metabolites. Thanks for the greatest toys for kids to play with. Yeah, they do. They don't. Dirt and rocks make for better toys. Between 1910 and 1950, 1910. the AC Gilbert Company was a big name in toys. Yes, until the mutants happened. <laughs> the company continued to put out a wide variety of scientific play sets that were quite dangerous. I had some science stuff, never the Gilbert uranium thing though. Exciting science available in safe and easy to understand form. The chemistry set taught young kids to make meth. <laughs> With multiple kinds of uranium, a right. Geiger counter to measure radioactivity, Smart. and a cloud chamber to observe alpha particles in action. Russell, don't right. touch that. It could be radioactive or something. Good clip from Up. They were giving kids radioactive elements back in the 50s. What a time. What a time it was. People are so stupid now, it's crazy, guys. And I'm talking to you, young generation. Generally, y'all are pretty dumb. God is free, taco. I'm not saying I was any smarter when I was your age, and I'm not saying the people in the 50s were any smarter. Honestly, I just get a kick out of saying people are dumb and being right. Because you're young. You're dumb. Anyways, back to the toys. Number two. The glass blowing kit involved temperatures close to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. A glass blowing kit? What the fuck? Every time I see a glass blowing video on YouTube or anywhere, I'm just like, I just get so hungry. And it's, I know it's completely forbidden. All right, and just hear me out. Yeah, I said hungry. Deal with it. All right, hungry. Yeah, lava makes me hungry. G molten glass makes me hungry. Why? I don't know. Lock me up or something. So this is actually real Gilbert glass. Gilbert glass in use. Is that an actual, is this like, is there like a picture of a kid doing this? Or is this just like some kind of myth, myth mythology? This thing must not have sold too well. I can find all these pictures from the past. Why can't I find a picture of a kid using the Gilbert glass blowing set? Was it real? It looks fun. I'm going to get me one. Oh. There's a is it, is it, what, you can buy it? What the f***, are you kidding me? Well, this doesn't look up to code. These look like seasonings. Fun with Gilbert chemistry, more like f Good luck, Johnny. Hopefully you don't die. There's the Sudafed in the ether. No, none of that. What about the aluminum powder and iron oxide? No, none of that either. Well, this is the fun haters chemistry set. After all, blowing shit up and crystal meth's all I've ever wanted. Jesse. Have you solved the Five Nights at Freddy's lore? Just kidding. These are not good toys, guys. These are not. These are all jokes. I'm joking, by the way. My hands look funny. So guys, if you press the like button, I will get the most dangerous kids' toys, and I'll play with them. I'm gonna play with the most dangerous kids' toys of all times. Smash like. Bonus toy. The bomb. <laughs> I think you have to bleep that. I think I'm honestly gonna say you have to bleep that. Piece of metal, two things in the end, little fuse, something in the middle. After reports of accidents all across the country, Pop received severe backlash from everyone. Who knew a homemade grenade could cause so much damage? <gasps> wow, they have it! Motherfucking bombs. <laughs> Damn, another Christmas ruin. Number three. Hannah Montana Pop Star Card Game. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Little girls around the world wanted anything and everything with her name on it, including this awesome card game. What about this was possibly dangerous? There's no way that this was dangerous. Was that an adult man playing with a Hannah Montana? All right, we'll just, we'll let that go for now. The carrying case contained over 75 times the level of lead legally permitted in consumer goods. Let me guess. 
China。<笑>朋友是一个坚韧不拔的纪录片，在香港这座城市的社区。你好，今夜我的频道。Bonus toy, the elephant's foot, once producing 8,000 rentgens of radiation per hour. What? The... It's no surprise this toy wasn't safe for children. With the ability to provide a grown man a lethal dose of radiation within five minutes, what were the makers of this toy thinking? God, those crazy Ukrainians. I was trying to remember where Pripyat was, guys. It's also not really a toy. Number four, CSI Crime Scene Investigation Fingerprint Examination Kit. This thing was dangerous. Also, one of the number one shows I watched as a child. My mom loved、uh, CSI. Wait, go back one. What do you say? Bring his face up, full screen. And also, the my entire knowledge of furries up until like maybe 2016 came from CSI. You have a name, Miss?、Uh... My friends call me. Sexy. All right, and that's all they, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really want to, you know, get too graphic, but like, that's all. That's all I thought they were doing. All right, but yeah. Kids should not be fans of this series. Period. I loved it, bro. My nipples are all better. You want to see? Yeah, yeah. True. The powder used for fingerprinting was proven to contain asbestos. Oh. When inhaled, can cause deadly respiratory issues. And even cancer later on in life. Mesothelioma. Mesothelioma. Call 1-800 CSI Fingerprint Investigation Kit. No, don't call that number. Don't do that, please. I'll get sued. Also, who let that slip? China? Oh, it was China. Oh, that makes sense. Actually, they put asbestos in lead and just about everything. <laughs> Sorry, my lungs were itching. I was playing with my、uh, my CSI investigation crime scene kit. Bonus toy: a one and three quarter liter bottle of Everclear. Everybody likes to have a bit of alcohol every once in a while. But who knew that 98% alcohol was potentially poisonous in large enough quantities, known to cause damage to the brain, liver, and heart in long term, and potentially blindness and death in the short term. It's no surprise children are no longer allowed to buy this zany item from Eastern Europe. Actually, I think it's grain alcohol. I think it's from America. Anyways, not a real toy. This is a joke. Number five. Okay, here's a weird one. This is a perfect example of how toy safety has、I've、changed. I've actually seen one of these the things.、Years. An actual hand cannon somehow made it onto the store shelves and was sold to、insane. kids in the late 1940s. This toy included a supply of calcium carbide, which、insane. explodes when mixed with water. It fired ping pong balls out of the gun at high speeds. Yeah, it did. How was this ever a thing? Or some spit will work. Little spit. And,、uh, and spit in that thing.、Yeah. Ew. That was a real toy, guys. That was a real toy for a different time. But seriously, what the f was wrong with people? I don't know whose side to be on. It's fun being like, oh yes, all the new young people are all dumb, and the old people had it figured out. No. Maybe everyone's just stupid. That's what I'm starting to think. <laughs> By the way, where can I get one of these? Looks fun. And also, finally, a safer work way to put down my nagging wife. Excuse me, honey. Do you mind spitting in this? Now just look down this barrel for a moment. It's just a magic wand. That's all. Bonus toy: the chemical rebreather. Often used in environments with little oxygen, chemical rebreathers provide air to those in tough situations. This sounds ideal for a potential trip underwater, not having to worry about pressurizing your scuba tank. But problematically, chemical rebreathers can react violently with water, instantly engulfing in flame the second the chemical comes into contact with said water. Them bitches was hydrophobic, and I don't mean in the good way. Yeah, not a great kids' toy though. To be honest, number six. Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids. What the fuck? Wow, she really chewed. Yeah, they're. Step aside, hungry, hungry、well. hippos. Missed it. Also, that thing. I used to hate that thing with a damn passion. Everyone I knew who had that was a piece of shit. All right, and they're all rich too. They all had a lot of money. Snack Time Dolls. How about this? A must-have gift for Christmas 1996. How about that though? How about that? They could bite and swallow plastic food. How about that? In the eyes、that、of children,、weird. they were as good as human pets, but with no mess on the other end. Human pets with no mess on the other end. Are they still available? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Can I put my internet thing or what? Ooh, shouldn't have said that. How creepy is that, dude? Oh, it just comes out in the old backpack. Unfortunately, the, the poop shoot. The poop shoot. 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 Poop sho
Number seven, steam propelled dribbler locomotives. The first steam propelled floor locomotives were offered by Clyde Model Dockyard in 1789. There were children in 1789. Also, did you see the aggressive, how aggressive that thing is? What the f Clyde Model Dockyard in 1789 That's and subsequently spurred other companies and people to improve amazing. on the design. This model, introduced around Looks 1890, had badass. a burner consisting of a chunk of cotton wadding soaked in alcohol held in place beneath the boiler by a steel clip. Yes! The boiler would then be filled halfway with water yes. and the cotton lit to produce steam, which yes. in turn moved the locomotive forward. But wait, it gets better. What? Most of these steam-powered locomotives were called dripplers or piddlers for a reason, as they tend to leave a trail of water mixed with the fuel used for the burner yes. as they moved. Often tipping over when crashing into furniture, this could leave a devastating trail of destruction. <laughs> It sounds like so much fun! Dude, the f steam dribbler. This thing is incredible. I need a steam dribbler in my life immediately. I'm gonna use it on carpet. You dumb fuck. What do you guys think? Use that on carpet? Smash like. I'm gonna need 100,000 likes on this video with all the f property damage I'm gonna cause for the sequel when I'm actually playing with these goddamn toys. Bonus toy. Concrete flippers. With their perfect hydrodynamics, who could have guessed that these were unsafe? What the fuck is that? Oh. That shit concrete, bro. Apparently, they didn't float very well. Ask little Timmy. Hey, bud, we're coming down to get you in a minute. He's at the bottom of the ocean. One of the most famous children's toys of all time. Number eight. Moon shoes. Bro, these things were my life, and I never got to play with them. I was made fun of. I'm starting to realize I was made fun of a too much as a kid, okay? I had a pair of silver shoes once for, like, first grade. My sister and mom laughed and snickered at me for days about these moon shoes. I felt so insecure wearing my moon shoes. And I didn't call them moon shoes. They called them moon shoes. They're like, they look like moon shoes, idiot. They didn't call me an idiot, but they laughed. Made me feel bad about my moon shoes. And then these in my head, I was like, I don't want these when they came out. Cause like, that's what they called my, my silver shoes that I love. They called them my moon shoes. So somebody give me a hug. You don't know what you're missing until you've tried sponge shoes. What the f***? That sounds cringe. It seems like childhood is all about trying Moon to shoes. launch your body. Seems like, uh, like ankle snap 3000s, to be honest. The first generation of moon oh shoes was released in the 1950s. Yeah, no Made shit. Made of a type of metal. These shoes locked your feet in like roller skates and used springs to help you reach the stars. Yo. Oh, watch the vent. Or not. They were also incredibly heavy resulting in a lot of property damage when kids landed on household items and injuries when kids botched a landing, rolled an ankle, or broke mom and dad's toes. They look like fun though, honestly. Also, how about how about lawyers and lawsuits just ruining fun, man? Like just cause 50,000 people die or whatever, tragically, there's another million that are having a great time. Jesus, that's how all laws are too. You know, you know it is, that's how all laws are. Number nine, Gilbert Molten Lead Casting Kit. All right, well, I'm starting to notice a trend here with Gilbert. Gilbert should should stay away from the toy section at Toys R Us, okay, Gilbert? DIY Han Solo Carbonite is what this is. Known as the Gilbert Caster Kit, this oh. apparatus appeared in 1931 and allowed children to make lead. their own metal cast figurines by heating lead to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And allowed children to create their own metal castings of lead and also expose themselves to toxic levels of lead. As we mentioned earlier, lead is a toxic heavy metal. Yeah, I know. I realize. Makes a fun toy though. Number 10. Sky Rangers Park Flyer Radio. Oh my god, that looks airplane. dangerous. And fun. There's no fucking way that was that. Let's be honest. Oh, okay. Remote control planes are dangerous okay, even when it. functioning properly. There's always a risk of them crashing into a window, car, okay. or innocent bystanders. That's the fun, though. Forget with great power. With remote control airplanes comes great responsibility. This plane has a good amount of power. Um, you can launch it at half or three quarters throttle, and it takes off and climbs with no trouble. Well, apparently no one told Estes Cox Corp. The makers of the Sky Rangers, who upped the ante by releasing a toy airplane that was prone to spontaneously combusting during takeoff, uh. mid flight, and while landing. Wha Anytime, really. Must be a Ukrainian airspace. And did we mention that you have to throw the plane on takeoff? What? So it's supposed to blow, it blows up when you throw it. <laughs> I'm having a little fun with my tiny toy plane. That was fun, guys. I'm gonna buy that for my kids this summer. I don't have any kids. And that's probably why. Cause I would buy, I would buy that for him. Number 11. Lawn darts. I didn't realize these were actually a real thing. I remember the scene in Me, Myself, and Irene when he hits the guy in the back with one. 
Oh my god, Brent. What? I asked my dad, he's like, yeah, there's a lawn dart. They're out there illegal. I was like three and I was like, why dad, why are you talking to me like I'm an adult asking you questions? And he's like, I don't know, son. As an adult, I realized that lawn darts were like a common toy or thing that kids and adults would do until babies started dropping. All right. A cross between horseshoes and Right, it's darts. a very, uh, oversized very interesting idea for a toy. Outdoor fun for the whole family. Until someone gets seriously or fatally right. wounded by a stray dart. Also, how though? How are you gonna let a giant ass dart flying through the sky hit you and kill you dead? Where's it gotta hit you in the head? I feel like I could shoot people with my bow and six times out of ten they wouldn't die. Six. I'm a good shot. The ban was lifted in the 1970s under the condition they never be marketed to kids. Ah. <laughs> Alright, well that just seemed like it was dumb as hell. Remember any particularly dangerous toys from when you were a kid? Yes, guns. Guns. I played with guns when I was a child. Guns. Number 12. Toy guns, including BB guns. Now, airsoft guns are very, they're fine, all right? I've been shot in the teeth with them. That hurts really bad. BB guns, they're, le they're less bad. I've had a, a BB enter my skin before. Not cool. Not cool. Dangerous. Don't play with them. But they're still basically toys. I used to shoot at my dad with, uh, with my paintball gun and my BB, my airsoft guns. He didn't like it. He didn't like it very much. Here's a little child Guns. playing with one. It doesn't matter if kids are raised by registered NRA members or in strictly anti-gun households. <laughs> because being a registered NRA member makes you a responsible gun owner. If that's like the two extremes, <laughs> holy f Maybe it's the speed of the projectiles, the loud noises, the influence of popular TV characters. That is what it is. The above. There are over 200 this happens a lot. of toy guns being mistaken for real firearms per year in the United States. Yeah. What, what does it look like to you? What it's supposed to look like. Popo. BB and airsoft guns can take an eye out. It does hurt really bad to get shot with one of those things. I got one somewhere. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, watch this video as well, okay? And go to sour.gg and buy some candy today. It's really good. If you like sour candy, go to sour.gg, link in the description.